hi guys um welcome to this video um hope you are well in this video we are going to work with uh simplify expressions mip 1502 right guys to do well on your algebra it is important to uh, know how to simplify right when we talk about expression we we talk about the mathematical statement that doesn't consist that does not have a sign it's different from an equation the difference between an equation is that let's let's take for instance we have x plus 4 let's take this for instance and we have x plus 4 and we have x plus 4 equated to 0 so this is an equation because it consists of a it consists of an equal sign so it's not an expression the expression will be this an expression does not consist of an equal sign but then uh, an equation does consist of an equal sign when you're given an equation, you solve. But when you're given an expression, you simplify. I would like to call it simply fly, right? Let's simplify then the first uh, question. We are going to use what you call a dolphin method here. You can see there's a bigger dolphin here. So this two will multiply everything that is inside the bracket. In other words, we're going to have 2 times x plus 2 times 4. What is 2 times x? 2 times x is 2x. What is uh, 2 times 4? 2 times 4 is 8. Right? Okay? So, this will be the, 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 the solution in this case. Okay? Right. Uh, this is a typical question that they can ask you in an examination. Another will be a binomial. Simplifying a binomial. Right? When you're simplifying a binomial like this, uh, let's see. X, X times X. So, we are going to use a, a let's use a distributive law. The distributive law, this part, the first term will, will multiply the, the, the second bracket and 4 will multiply the second bracket. So we are going to say x multiplied by x minus 3 plus 4 multiplied by x minus 3 using what we call a distributive distributive uh, property or dis distributive law. Okay, So this is what we are going to do. x times x is going to be x squared. Using a dolphin method, x times negative 3 is going to be negative 3x uh, plus 4x. 4 times 3 is going to be minus 12. So let's collect the like terms when necessarily. So we have the like terms here. Negative 3 plus 4. It's, a, it's the same as saying 4 minus 3. 4 minus 3, which is 1. So in other words, you're going to have plus x here. Minus uh, 12. So... This is the case that we are going to have because when you have negative 3 plus 4, this is what you are going to have, positive 1. Right. Let's go to our third equation. So our third equation, um, it, it's a second, it, it's what you call a difference of two squares. Why I'm saying so? You will see you must have a form of this when you simplify such x squared minus y squared. Let's see. Uh, this using a same method, distributive law, this the first term multiply the second bracket and 4 multiply the second bracket. So we are going to have x multiplied by x minus 4 plus 4 multiplied by x minus 4. Right? So what is x times x? x is it's x squared. x times negative 4, that will be minus 4x. Four, 4 times x, that will be 4x. Four, 4 times negative 4, that will be minus 16. Okay? So that's what we are having. Like terms, x squared plus uh, negative 4x, I mean plus 4x is the same as 4x minus 4x, which is 0. So this they cancel. So we are left with x, x squared minus 16. Just as I've told you, this is a, we call this type of an expression a uh, different of two squares. You will learn more, guys, when we do um, factorize, factorization. When we do factorization, that's where you will learn more. Okay, let's go. Let's go. So even here, we are going to use a dolphin method. Remember, 4 multiplies everything. 4 times x, what is that? That's going to be 4x. 4 times 2, what is that? That's 8. Guys, please, when you are watching this video, before uh, before you, you, you continue watching, pause the video and reattempt the question. After that, you, you, you do it on your own. In that manner, you will you, be learning uh, meaningfully. Right? So, we have 4x plus 8. Then this negative 3 will multiply everything. Negative 3 times... Uh, x squared is going to be 3x squared. Negative 3 times 6, that's going to be minus 18x. Negative 3 multiplied by 9, that's going to be 27. 
so we need to regroup this into standard form so we have negative 3x squared uh, we have for uh, like terms 4x and 8, 18 4, min 4 minus 18 that will be minus 14x so we are going to have minus 14x then we have like terms again a number and a number 8 minus 27 uh, that will be minus 19 so this this is gonna be ni minus 19 so our lastly our solution will be minus 3x squared minus uh, 14x minus 19 right so this is how you can simplify expressions guys remember that um, it's a mathematical statement um, when you talk about an, exp an expression it doesn't consist of a, a, an equal sign but it is an equation that has a it, it's an equation that has an equal sign expression does not consist of an any equal sign it doesn't consist in equal sign right i hope guys you find this useful um let's share the video uh, let's subscribe let's growing uh, on our journey to, to 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 pass our final examination and remember uh, we love you